G'day and welcome back and welcome back to DaVinci Resolve 18.5, the beta version, the version that never crashes and everyone is very happy about. So today we're going to talk about a node, a new node that maybe you're not aware of in the new version. So here we have a grade here, a very basic grade and some footage of me hanging out in the backyard. Let's say we wanted to make a bleach bypass look. We'd make a new node by pressing Alt S, which is a serial node. Then we'd change that to a layer node, so Alt L. Now in our little box here, the layer mixer, we'd right click it, composite mode, and then we'd go down to, let's say overlay. Now in this node here, we could desaturate it, pump up the contrast, and then bring up some of those mids. As you can see, we have a very basic bleach bypass look. So in the past, we'd have to do that to get that look, but now there is an actual new way to do this. So what I'm gonna do, is I'm going to copy this by pressing Control alt g or you can come up to Color, Stills, and grab Still. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to delete this node here. Now that'll get rid of the layer mixer. Now, instead of making a layer mixer to get that bleach bypass look, is we're going to turn this node here into a composite node. So all you have to do is right-click it, come down to Composite Mode, and using the same as before, so overlay. Now we're gonna desaturate that image again. We're gonna put our contrast to 1.1, then our gamma up to 05. Now, as you can see, we actually have the exact same effect without having to make that layer mixer. Now to prove it, let's go to our gallery and double click this footage, and that'll give us a side-by-side -side view. So I don't need this gallery up. Now, making sure our image wipe is selected, so come up here, and if we pull this across, as you can see, it is exactly the same. And I'll go to a different part of the footage to make sure, but as you can see the line, everything is exactly the same as that other layer mixer. So I think that's actually really interesting that Resolve would do that, and I think it's something that'll come in handy. You'd still use the layer mixer for other reasons, let's say isolating skin tones, but it is a really good idea that they've just narrowed everything down into that one node. So let me know in the comments below, what do you think of DaVinci Resolve 18.5 beta so far? I know it's crashing a lot, but let me know how many times it's crashed for you. It's crashed for me a lot using some of the other heavy effects tools, but that is what it is at the moment, but hopefully it'll be a lot better in the final version. Anyway, I've been Drew from Gingo Production. If you'd like to see anything else, please comment below. I'm more than happy in any suggestions at all and have a great day and thanks for watching.